good morning. I'm so tired. It is 6.30 in the morning. Jess and I are on our way to the house. It's like a Wednesday morning. Thursday? Wednesday? Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> We've been up since 5.30. I do not enjoy waking up at 5.30 in the morning unless it's for a flight. But we're getting a delivery between 7am and 12pm. And unfortunately the builder can't be at the house until 7.45 or 8 o'clock or something because he has to drop his daughter to nursery and this delivery is just really annoying because if we miss it or if they have to re-deliver we have to pay £80 for that which I am not doing. But anyway we're getting skylights delivered but it's really also really annoying because I got this whole long ass text from the company who I would definitely not recommend by the way they're a joke saying the driver's not insured to offload it from a lorry so whoever's at the house needs to get on the lorry to offload big massive window panes i don't know how that's going to work it says you need to have glass suckers on site whatever that is of course we don't have those like if the driver's not insured to take it off the lorry how would you be insured to get on the lorry and take it <laughs> off it's just a joke even our builder was like where like what who is this company anyway they messaged yesterday to say delivery would be between 7 a.m and 12 p.m and um we tried to call them multiple times to say can you make it between 8 a.m and whatever time and they were obviously like no our drivers don't even call you when they're on route and it's just like how are you in any way helpful anyway I'm ranting, it's first thing in the morning. I need to go to the house and try and stay awake until the builder gets there. And hopefully, please pray for me that the delivery arrives after the builder arrives. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, what are we gonna do, really, Jess? What are we actually gonna do? Well, no, yeah, not much I could do with that on my own. It's like it's, I mean, it's like, guy's not going to give me a Maybe you'll have to hide if he seems quite nice, and I'll be at the front and I'll just stall him. No, but if there's one and guy, just be he should like, be able to yeah, give me a hand. How's your day it? going? And all this rubbish. Uh, depends who it is, who the idiots are. I know, this Let's company see. is ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going to go now. It's too early in the morning. Ugh. It's been a few days since we've been here because it was bank holiday. But look, they've done, they've made the little holes for the spotlights in what will be like a little lounge area and still no ceiling up here but that's fine and oh my god this is the little toilet there's no electricity so I can't really show you but they haven't oh okay they haven't plastered the walls in here yet oh they're not going to be done this week then eh? they won't be done this week why? who's not going to be done last week? <laughs> the builder no, not but this week. if this isn't plastered yeah Oh, is this plastered? Okay, I don't know, because once the plaster's dry, which is about a week, then they have to tile. Anyway, let's just see what's going on. Oh, crap. Um, oh my God, this has been plastered. Yeah. The living room. It's so pretty. Right. Not all of it's been plastered, I think. Oh my God, they moved my West Arm unit, Jas. Oh yeah, I just don't even let them drag it. Every time I see them, I'm like, please lift, don't drag. And I really hope that they actually did. Oh my God, I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna have a wall light here, but I'm really struggling to find a nice wall light. Oh, I'm back on camera. Sorry about this, but I'm really struggling to find a wall light for this fitting it's just a single light this was already there and they asked me if i wanted two but this wall's just so small i don't think it needs two lights <clears throat> so we're gonna stick to one but it's just really hard to find lighting all the nice stuff is always really expensive all the affordable stuff i just think looks really cheap and oh, it's just difficult <laughs> it's a ladder in my way but i wonder what they're doing up there oh that's the electrics isn't it oh let me go upstairs it's so dusty in here to see what's going on. Ah, crap. Okay, this is still the bathroom situation. Nothing's really changed in here. When the airing cupboard here went, the builder was like, oh, you had an ensuite for a bit. <laughs> How good would that have been? But obviously that would mean that there's no main bathroom. Oh my God, these holes are actually massive. You could actually fall through these gaps. Really? <laughs> yeah. Right. And oh, I should tell you. my blind is still out there. I keep telling the builder to bring this blind in. I'm so annoyed because that's the one thing I wanted to keep. And they keep saying that they'll bring it in, and they mm -hmm. obviously haven't. It's been chucking it down 
this bank holiday and I'm really annoyed because that obviously means it's just destroyed now. Do you think it'll be salvaged? <sighs> that, no. That roof there, see that, that where the puddle is and that roof? Yeah, we need to turn that I'm a bit worried that, yeah. that it's already, um, because that's what, it's that's how it, water. it needs to somehow. Yeah, he needs to fix that. Oh uh, yeah, we left some of the wallpaper here because we obviously couldn't reach it at the top of the stairs. Actually, we probably could have reached it with a ladder, but literally on the last day that Jas was here to strip wallpaper, the machine died, which was quite funny, so we no longer have a wallpaper stripper, but they've obviously taken the last little remaining bits off. I actually can't believe it. This is the guest bedroom, and oh my God, the plaster looks so beautiful once it's dry. I mean, I know I say this in every single video, but I'm just obsessed with this color. And it's just beautifully plastered. Like we live in a flat currently. We've painted over wallpaper, we've stripped wallpaper, we've added more, painted over that. And it's just layers and layers of crap. And also holes that have been polyfilled but not like smoothed out properly. And now it just feels like such a treat. Oh my God, to have like completely smooth walls. I don't want to touch it in case it hasn't dried properly, but I'm sure it will have by now. It's just... I love a freshly plastered wall. This is like building porn. I just love it. <laughs> it's just beautiful. We're actually gonna be sleeping in this room temporarily when we first move in. Uh, so yeah, it'll be so nice. Oh, I just love a freshly plastered wall so much. This is the little bench. They're gonna plaster the front of it. So it basically just looks like it's gonna be part of the wall, I think. I dread to think what this house will look like once the builders are done. Everything's so dusty, <laughs> it's such a struggle to breathe. And look at that skip. I think we've had like five or six skips now. And yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff in it too. Look at how beautiful my anthracite column radiators are. Even the builder and this other guy were admiring them last time when I was here at the house last week. They were like, oh, these are really nice. Where do you get them from? How much are they? And then I told them the price. They wouldn't believe me because they thought they'd be a lot more expensive than that. And then they were like, oh, we might have to get some for our house. But they're so beautiful. These are like the only radiators I'm excited about. I'm not sure if I've actually shown our fireplace on here before, but this is what it obviously looks like. They've taken off the little cover. That was filthy anyway, so I think that just needs to go. And they're also gonna remove this fireplace surround. I've asked them to keep the marble though, because I actually quite like it. I obviously love marble, but this is not like in the best condition. There's bits of blue on it, which I think are really weird, but I think that's just natural for marble. This fireplace surround though, first of all, it's really old fashioned. I don't actually like it. Do you know what? I think he's actually forgotten to take the fireplace surround off because it looks to me like they've started plastering, right, Jeff? Uh, yeah, definitely. And he was supposed to plaster behind it, so this needs to go because it's also really damaged. The previous owners have oh, like well, burnt it really or glued stuff down to it. Yeah, I think that's what it is. He thinks they don't want it. I mean, he probably thinks they want to keep it, but. No, but I need to remind him again because. It's kind of loose anyway, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's loose here. Oh good, maybe he is going to take it off then. Yeah, just remind him. Just but just it. don't take the marble off. If he bins that marble. This. No. That. Yeah. The hearth and the little bit in the middle. God, I don't know. But I also need to find a replacement for that and I don't know what to do because most people have wood. I think that's very country home and I don't, I don't know anything about fireplaces or fireplaces around so I'm just gonna have to try and find a shop somewhere that I can go to have a look at what different options I have available. But I do see people have like really nice wood burners and they have like a fat wooden shelf, which looks really nice, but like I said, it's a bit country home for my liking and we are not out in the country. And I would quite like to keep the marble and we're not getting a wood burner yet anyway, because they're very expensive. So we're gonna keep the fireplace as it is. Just doing a spot of gardening while we wait. <laughs> But the builders have just turned up now and it's quarter to eight, but we thought we'd just get rid of some of this rubbish yeah, while we have mean. the skip, you know. It's all this stuff here. Oh, that's not bad waking up this early in the morning. It's not, but we need to oh. figure out what's going on with this I front garden happened. as well. Yeah, well it's the waking up bit that's the hardest. Staying awake is the next step. <laughs> okay, good news. The delivery didn't turn up, which is actually good news because the builder got there before the delivery and so did another guy. So we've just left them to it now and hopefully. I hope my glass is all right because you have to inspect it on arrival and I kind of wanted to be there just to see it, to make sure it's fine. But you know, I trust them, I think. God, this is very scary stuff, isn't it? We're now on our way home and I have had a shower actually. I need to just put my face 
on get ready we're at the petrol station there's people walking around in their pajamas and then i need to leave again at 11 a.m <laughs> it's now like eight so i need to go back to the house at 11 i need to go pick up some tiles later and drop them to the house but yeah it's all fun stuff right it's 10 a.m i came home i had breakfast i cleaned the kitchen i made a few phone calls i'm waiting for another phone call hence why i have my airpods on it's been go 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 i have about 45 minutes before i need to leave the house again anyway i was actually chatting to the builder before i left because he was telling me that he's going to take the fireplace surround off today which is good because i noticed that and he was like so what are you going to do like are you going to replace it what are you going to have and i was just telling him that i want to make it look a bit more contemporary so i want a shelf rather than like a traditional fireplace surround but my only two options are really wood or concrete and i think wood is a little bit too country home so he said are you gonna go for a concrete shelf and I said yeah and he kind of looked at me like oh for god's sake not again he's like you need to tell me this ASAP because a concrete shelf is not easy to install and you kind of need to know like today so I've been ringing around about this bloody concrete shelf and it turns out the first place I found it from is the cheapest I actually found the supplier it comes from France and it was about I think half two thirds of the price to buy it directly from the supplier in France. I spoke to them on their live chat and of course because of Brexit they no longer ship to the UK which is really annoying. Then I spoke to the UK distributor and anyway we've gone back in a full circle. I just have to buy it on that website but I originally saw it on so I'm going to get on that today but I'm just going to check the measurements when I go to the house later. This is turning out to be another sort of stressful week. But anyway, I think we're on renovation week seven now. The builders are not going to be done this week. It's definitely going to be eight weeks minimum, I think. Oh my god, I've just picked up my yellow tiles. I don't know if I can even get into the box now. Um, anyway, this is what they're called. Lily powered porcelain in the shade custard. In the shade, like it's a foundation, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and with Serena, we've had a really nice lunch and then we've come to collect some tiles. I love it when I have my own personal Uber driver. <laughs> Thanks for today, it's been great. Oh, no Try to open these because I want to see them again. Oh, hopefully I'll get the builder to open them up for me, yeah, maybe. Get the builder. Yeah, what a day. I'm home after spending a really fun afternoon with my cousin, actually. We went to the house a couple of times and she's seen it for the first time now since the wall's obviously gone. So she was like, it looks really good. And we met the builders. We had a really nice lunch out, which I didn't actually vlog because I've left my camera in the car. And I picked up my tiles, which was really handy. And yeah, it's been a really good afternoon, actually. It's really nice to just get out and do something a bit different. But tonight I need to do a lot of online shopping and have an early night because I'm so wrecked after having woken up at 5.30 in the morning. But that is basically my plan. It is literally like 5.30, 6 o'clock. I've just got home and I'm pooped. So I'm going to make dinner in a bit and then start on my online shopping. So happy days. Happy Sunday. I'm so tired this morning. Jess and I are on our way to the house. We were supposed to meet the builder like five minutes ago and all morning Jess was like, oh, he won't be there on time. He's just called me. He's already <laughs> there. He was like, how long are you going to be? Um, which is a bit annoying. It's annoying for him because he now has to wait around for us. Um, he's not even working today because it's a Sunday, Jess. He's just come to show us something. And now look, you're wasting his time. How do you feel about your life? <laughs> I'm you, Nish. It's not my fault. Look at me! It's not like I got dressed or anything. Anyway, we're going to the house to paint. It is very early. I have a bloodshot eye, thanks to hay fever. I'm wearing two hoodies and it actually happens to be really warm outside. And now I'm really hot and sweaty, but that's not the point. Today's just going to be a great day. We're spending as much time as we can possibly bear in the house painting but there are no toilets and no hand washing facilities and i am gonna have to pee at some point because i don't know what lockdown has done to my bladder there is just no way on this earth i'm using a portaloo and supermarkets <laughs> don't open until 11 what am i gonna do i mean it's fine i can hold out to 11 because it's now nine o'clock but oh god i'm gonna have to get to a supermarket toilet <laughs> Okay, so the meeting with the builder was quite successful. He was just mapping out the island um, because our skylights arrived last week. I'm not sure if I told you. And this week, last week, I don't even know. But the skylights are here and they've built the frame for them because we actually bought frameless ones. I'm not sure that we knew what we were doing really, but we thought they looked a bit nicer. But obviously they have to still build a frame around it. Anyway, the builder's now gone and 
Jess and I have to do a mist coat on these freshly plastered walls. So let me just show you what we're doing. So this is our living room and this is where the radiator is going to go and because this is all freshly plastered he wants us to lightly sand the walls first with 180 grit sandpaper. We actually bought a roll a few weeks ago but we've obviously left it at home so we've just been to screw fix to buy some more. We're going to lightly sand this and then we have to do a mist coat of paint. Basically a mist coat is just paint and water mixed together just to kind of like prime the plaster i don't know get it ready for paint but we just need to do literally the bits where the radiators are going to go the plug sockets and the light switches just so that he can actually put the radiators on the walls without us getting paint all over them but like i keep saying it's very dusty in this house which is why we're wearing disposable now i'm gonna open some windows in here as well so we've literally just bought this from Screwfix. we were actually supposed to buy a roll of it which we have at home somewhere but we've obviously misplaced it but this was quite cheap it was like one pound fifty so we're just gonna use this for now should i have a go yep where is it it's over here sorry. oh right you took one out sorry. Mm. Just, there. just be careful because my west end bookcase is here and this door bangs against it so yeah. it's a bit <clears throat> tricky where is it yeah. oh there Another. If it's easier, I guess you could kind of use something like this. You just do it. Awesome. Or oh, what is that? So some bit of wood. Or you could just use that maybe. Because you need to. That's probably better. Okay. Start gripping. So <laughs> this is like gonna be fun. He said just don't go ham with it. Just do it very lightly. It's going to be very noisy. I think it's just to create a bit of texture on this so that the paint has something to stick onto. It's actually a bit like when you get your acrylics done on your nails, <laughs> that you like buff your whole nail, don't they, to create some texture, which basically just helps the acrylic stick to your nail and last a bit longer. So that's essentially the plan with this. So this is the paint. We've got a builder's bucket, which we need to basically mix the paint in. It's the Leyland Matte, I don't know, Brilliant White, whatever it's called. Yep. Do you want a hand? Do we, you might need a hand to uh, think it, right? Mm. Okay. Yeah. Now, why put that mask? <laughs> we found a builder's mask that's obviously used. Uh. A baby's mouth. Now what do I do with this? Exactly. Should we chuck it in the skin? Yeah, we can chuck it in the skin. Or put it on top of something now. You can throw it outside if you want. Oh. Tiny bit of water. Start off with a little bit and then work our way up, I reckon. Yeah, we need to mix it first. Yeah. <laughs> we were going to buy a paddle mixer, but that's attached to some kind of drill. And like, we don't want to buy all these tools that we're probably never going to need again. So even the builder was like, just mix it with a oh, stick. Okay. Yeah. Probably. That is very watery, you know, it's going to be quite hard to apply to the walls. No, I think it still needs to be mixed properly. Okay, give it some welly. I'm going to go... Like a whisker. Like a what? Like a whisker. Because <laughs> like, um, you're kind of separating these. But that's the correct tool to use. Can I put the lid back on this, actually? Because yeah. I don't okay. want any dust to yeah, fly into the actual paint. Luckily... It's still going thick, you know. It's actually not bad. Okay, as long as it works. How satisfying is that? Uh, okay, now this is the truth of the moment. Moment of truth. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have people mind yeah, like but, carry bags or something? Yeah, but I don't think that's not really the... That groove, those grooves are there for even thing, isn't it? To get the paint yeah, on. to get the trophy. I know, but we're, let's just see how this one goes first. Okay, I don't have all the equipment here. Is this all right? Yep. Da, 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 da. It's a bit patchy. I absolutely hate painting, by the way, guys. Oh, I'm already bored of painting. I don't know if that's patchy because it's too diluted. Is it meant to be like that? But don't forget, this is basically a mist mm. coat, right? So Let's is this what a mist coat meant to look like? Anyway. Oh, we're now in one of the bedrooms upstairs. This is what will be the guest bedroom. And I've just sanded the bits that I can basically reach. And Jas has been painting this bit and just around the light socket here. I don't know how I'm gonna try and get around here because I can't move this heavy box. And yeah. 
oh my god it's such a warm day look at how sweaty i look i had um a latex glove on and my hand is sweaty it's disgusting <sighs> it's really warm in here today i don't know if i showed you this earlier this week but that is our old fireplace surround which has finally gone which i'm very happy with i don't know if you'll be able to see on camera but this floor is all wet because <laughs> it has been chucking it down all week and the reason for that is if you look up here at the ceiling where is it they've built a frame for our skylight windows so i guess the roof was probably down and that's why it all rained inside but those where's the second one Oh, they're one behind the other. Those are our skylight windows that are going up. We bought frameless ones for some reason. Anyway, I don't know why. And they've also excavated down here because we've decided we're going to get a downdraft extractor, I think it's called, for our hob. So the extractor will literally be here and it's not going to be a recirculating one. So all the crap will go out underground and out of the house this has added a little bit more onto the cost than we had anticipated only because we told them about this right at the end because we didn't actually know that down draft extractors are a thing by the way our hob's going just in front of it here and the extractor kind of sits behind it so i don't know if you guys know what a down draft extractor is but instead of having the traditional chimney ones that come down from the ceiling i spent weeks on end trying to find a solution for that because i don't want the first thing you see when you walk into the kitchen slash dining room to be a big fat chimney <laughs> coming down from the wall oh my god have they cut off more of this tree i think they've cut more of our tree really yeah which is amazing anyway sorry so i didn't want um just an ugly chimney coming down from the ceiling next to my pendant lighting what was that noise oh the door just closed oh right oh you're right they have i think they have as well probably got to be bored of that's just well that's good because i'd asked him to do that anyway so i didn't know i was a bit annoyed with my kitchen designer and i'm not happy with when anyway like i keep saying in every video but i was like why didn't you tell me i've been going back and forth on this it was literally just a random whatsapp conversation with one of my friends and he was like why don't you get a downdraft extractor and i was like what is that i googled it anyway it it costs a little bit more to buy than a regular extractor if you get a branded one you can get ones that are a bit more affordable we haven't done this research yet but to install it it's added a bit more onto the cost i'll tell you why so when you have an extractor all it collects all the crap and it essentially takes it out of the house and so if we were going to get the traditional one that comes down from the ceiling there is no ceiling here at the moment they're redoing the roof and so they wouldn't have charged me any extra <laughs> to basically take the pipe out of the house like so that was always the plan but i just think sometimes you just need to spend a bit more to get the look that you want because obviously this is not something that you would ever do again i know i say that about a lot of things and a lot of salespeople do annoy me because they always say oh just get the one you want you're never going to do it again and i'm like yeah but if everyone says that about everything your costs just skyrocket you can't just buy everything you want or everything that's really expensive unless you have like an unlimited bank account which most people do not so this really is something that you'd never do again we're never going to rip up the flooring and the underlay and whatever to drill underground once we're living here so i think we made a good call on that but i'll show you what i mean so obviously when you walk in from the hallway there the first thing you'd see was this big ugly chimney extractor and our two pendant lights what's the point of having nice pendants above the island if you're going to have an ugly extractor do you see what i mean also i should say you can actually buy really nice extractors that basically just look like lighting they're not like amazing not really to my taste they're quite blingy they're for people i guess that like a lot of bling and like fake diamondy stuff but they cost like three grand or more <laughs> that's just like that blows my mind and i would never get one of those and so actually the cost of getting one of those like fancy extractors that are recirculating by the way they don't actually take the stuff out of the house they just look pretty is about 10 times maybe the price of just drilling down here so we made a really good call i think anyway just is out here mixing some more paint yeah Right. Obviously it's not the tool we're meant to use. Do you reckon they're going to... Um, oh god, this curtain's blowing away. Do you reckon they're going to um, clean all this up before they go? Because what even is this? Um, I think they've got a plasterboard out at one point. Yeah. It's just so much crap everywhere in oh, our yeah. garden. <laughs> what are you doing? 
It's yeah. actually working. It's actually it's all right, I think. Is this thicker than like before, a little bit? Mm. Do you still want it a little bit waterier? I think it needs to be a bit watery. Really? So you missed coat, Jess. I've just walked into this little bit here and I've just seen, can I get here? That the builders made his to-do list on this wall, which is so funny because a few weeks ago, last week maybe, when I came to the house, when this wall was originally still here, he had his to-do list written on this wall. And I said to him the night before the wall was going, I was like, you better take a photo of that wall because otherwise you won't know what you're doing. And he was like, oh yeah, good point. So I think he's like made a new to-do list here. Oh my god, we're so hungry. We literally have four of these little serene snack bars. One strawberry, one's banana each. We're gonna have a little snack before we go and get some lunch, but I hope these are nice. My hands are literally shaking. This always happens to me when I'm hungry. We're having a little garden picnic. Just just went to pick up pizzas. Ooh, not pizzas, a pizza. <laughs> Cause it's the only thing we can really eat with our hands. I love how Jas gets me a Coke Zero and he gets himself spiced rum and, what is it? Coke? Mm. <laughs> I'm quite jealous actually. I never thought I'd actually say this, but this pizza has far too much cheese on it for my liking. <laughs> not a fan. Very really cheesy pizza. At least we know where not to order from when we finally move in. Do you know what? There's a reason why Domino's charge twice the price of other pizza places. Also, their tomato sauce is like really sweet. Oh yeah, it is. It's just weird. Very weird. Look at this. These walls have been painted and it's so weird because I loved the colour of the pink plaster. But actually, the room feels a lot bigger now that it's all white. Wow, this is obviously not a final coat, this is just the mist coat and there'll be two more coats on top of that and maybe one more with whatever colour we decide to go for but I think we're just going to keep it white. And then here we've just done that little bit because it's best just to do the whole wall properly I think afterwards when we can move all this crap out of the way because there's plug sockets, there's one there I think and somewhere there, I don't even know but there's just so much stuff in the way in this room. Whoa, look at my hands, they <laughs> look awful. I'm now in what will be the master bedroom. And look at all this, bloody hell, there's so much stuff everywhere. But it feels like, it feels massive now that obviously the chimney breast has gone. And you can't even tell that it was there. I can really see like where my wall lights are gonna be, the plug sockets, it's all starting to take shape now actually. The plaster's still wet in here so we're not painting in this room today. Well, bloody hell, I hadn't seen this. I've literally just noticed. That's where our skylight windows are gonna be and there's gonna be one there. They've already built the frame for that and raised it. It's very hard to see at the moment because the windows are so filthy, but I don't know if you can see, they've literally just raised that bit. They're gonna do this for this side too, but I think it was like the weather was really bad. It was tracking it down, so they couldn't. But yeah, it's gonna be really weird. I wonder if we'll be able to see right into the kitchen from our bedroom window in the future once it's all done. When we first bought the house, my parents came to see it. I said to my mum, I was like, oh my God, imagine we could get the whole roof as like a massive window. So it's all just completely open. And she was like, think of all the bird poo that you'll have to clean off that. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, good point. So we obviously didn't do that. I'm not even sure if that's possible to be honest, but yeah, it's gonna look really good when it's done actually. Happy birthday, dear Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday! It's been hours since I last vlogged. Justin and I got from the house 
we had a shower, got all ready because we were disgusting after being in a dusty house. And then I surprised him with a pre-birthday dinner with my cousins. He had no idea, did you? No, I didn't have a clue at all. I actually told him that we had to get ready and go out to Wren Kitchens for like an in-store appointment. And all afternoon he was bitching about it. <laughs> he was like, do we have to go? Like, can you go by yourself? They're so annoying. I can't be asked to talk kitchens. Like you were just really not happy about this appointment, were you? Yeah. <laughs> I've just can't be asked. We do actually have our appointment on Tuesday night, by the way. <laughs> but I said to him, don't worry, like, we'll pick up a Starbs on our way like, to get us through this appointment. And then we got to Starbs and I was like, oh no, it's closed. I knew that it'd be closed at 6 p.m. on a Sunday. And then he was like, now what do you want to do? I was like, oh, let's go for dinner next door. And he was like, what? Like, why? Like, what? I thought we were going to Wren. And then my cousin was sitting in the doorway and then my other cousin was walking up. So yeah, it was a really nice dinner. It was nice to have a meal that's been cooked by somebody else. I mean, the restaurant wasn't very good, actually. The service wasn't very nice. Um, food was like all style over substance, one of those places. It wasn't great, we wouldn't go back. But it was just nice to go out with people and like have a meal and like feel some sense of normality. And actually, we didn't talk about house stuff or renovations at all, did we? No. I showed them my curtains that I'm thinking of buying, but that is it. And it was just so nice not to talk about Renault stuff. We also have got these incredible cakes from like a local cafe. My aunt and uncle actually bought them um, for us. My, I asked my cousin to pick them up, but her parents basically paid for them and they wouldn't take the money off me. But these are just incredible. I couldn't finish my slice. We all had a slice each, but there's this like little independent cake shop near to where they live. And honestly, I don't like cake, but these are so good. This one was rose petal and pistachio. and pistachio so good and most of their cakes are like vegan and gluten-free and they don't taste vegan or gluten-free so it's really good anyway i have that to enjoy tomorrow i thought i would just come on here and end this video because this has been the end of renovation week six i think i don't know i've lost track of what week we're on but thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. We have a lot more painting to do in future videos, which I'm absolutely dreading because I hate painting with a passion. There's a lot more shopping to do as well. And hopefully the fun stuff will start to happen in the next couple of weeks because I'm just dying now to start buying the fun bits and not sensor light and security light and outdoor wall lights and just boring stuff like that i'm so over it now <laughs> i just want to buy the beautiful furnishings and blah 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 but anyway thank you for watching and i will see you next week with renovation week seven i think bye